from the Samsung Production Studios in the heart of Hazleton, Pennsylvania. It's your News 13, brought to you by SSP TV and the Standard Speaker. Lawmakers join forces with one local police chief to take a stand, a stand against illegal immigrants who are frauding the government. Fighting for felonies is where we begin tonight, live at 5. Good evening and thanks so much for joining us, everyone. I'm Kristen Bozinski. Well, two state lawmakers from our area are working together on a law that would help stop fraud in the public welfare system. It's all part of a recent hearing from the state government committee in Harrisburg called National Security Begins at Home. The hearing dealt with illegal immigration problems in Pennsylvania. State representatives Tara Tuhill and Doyle Hefley met with local police officers and other officials today in Beaver Meadows to discuss their progress on a bill that would address both the problem with welfare fraud and illegal immigration. It all stems from testimony from Beaver Meadows Police Chief Mike Marisi. Marisi says he's pulled over and apprehended illegal immigrants who were in the possession of access cards, which were not in their names, but Marisi was not allowed to confiscate them. Now lawmakers are trying to make it a third degree felony for any illegal immigrant to have in their possession an access card. I was speaking on behalf of uh, local law enforcement throughout the area because a lot of uh, politicians and um, people higher up don't really see the big, big picture of what local law enforcement see and deal with on a daily basis. Like for instance, when I did stop a vehicle, the guy had uh, $3,000 in cash, two government access cards through in Pennsylvania. And I contacted the Department of Welfare. They said, just let them have the cards. I can't confiscate them. But I was able to confiscate his fake identification cards, and I had to cut them loose. Now, if this bill is passed, that would be an excellent tool throughout the state. That's a felony charge. We'd be able to lodge them. It's a win-win all around. In the Hazleton area, as well as here in Beaver Meadows and, and across the state, it is a huge problem that we have people with multiple access cards that do not belong to them. And, and, and that's, you know, that needs to be fraudulent. That needs to, there needs to be an offense associated with that. And then on top of it, we have uh, illegal immigrants. Uh, you know, they're, they're getting fed and clothed and housed by us here, uh, by your taxpayer dollars. So you need to put an end to that. In these tough economic times with so many people struggling, taxpayers that have paid in, senior citizens that have paid into public benefits for years and, and, and are, you know, really struggling. It, it's important that us as legislators and as a state government that we are good stewards of, of those public funds and, and we need to cut out this waste and fraud in, in the public welfare system. So making sure that the people that are, that are truly in need of these benefits are receiving them. Um, one of the things that we're seeing across the state is access cards being used in the drug trade. And, and I, I feel that this legislation will also address that issue as well. Now, police officers from many local police departments also joined those officials and Chief Marisi in Beaver Meadows today. Representative Hefley says the legislation has 36 co-sponsors and support from the caucus. It will be introduced either today or tomorrow. Turning to Butler Township, where the big concern over the last month has been flooding. Residents have dealt with almost two feet of water since the beginning of September. A lot of that water was inside people's houses. Last night, Township officials and State Representative Tara Tuhill held an informational session for those affected by flooding. News 13's Nikki Kreis has more on the town hall meeting. Just last week, this is what it looked like in parts of Butler Township. The flooding was so bad that people needed to be rescued by boat from their houses. Almost two feet of rain in the month of September has caused township residents irreplaceable damage. This is top priority. Uh, the Susquehanna River and the, the damage that we've incurred, this is top priority, getting this fixed. Um, and we're, we're just going to move forward from there. That's why State Representative Tara Tuhill, along with Butler Township leaders, held a town hall meeting Wednesday night. To uh, allow the citizens to hear from some of the experts on uh, what, what can be done to help them if they were flooded or received damage in their homes, and uh, also for the public elected officials to be able to hear from the, the, the community, the citizens, uh, what the problems were that, that, that they experienced. Township residents were able to ask questions and express their concerns to the officials, as well as representatives from DEP, PennDOT, and FEMA. I thought people 
had very fair and uh, very legitimate concerns, and I think they were handled very well you know, by the borough staff. Residents had a lot to say at Wednesday's meeting. Many were emotional and voiced concerns about their power being turned off for five days. Even those who weren't directly affected by flooding initially were affected when their basement pumps were shut off. Many lost food from their freezers and some lost pets. Township manager Steve Hahn defends the way officials handled the situation. I think the township in their ability reacts very quickly and did in all of these events to get the road crews out and close roads if they're inundated with water. The emergency management folks were out, our police force was out. Uh, making sure that people got out of their homes and that they were safe. That was the, the immediate reaction. But what it's really going to come down to is looking, looking forward at the problems that we have, the reoccurring flooding problems. Uh, our, our constituents here that always are getting flooded, uh, we have some public improvement projects that we're going to have to move forward with, and that's going to take money. Tuhill says she will go back to Harrisburg and fight for that money. I think there's a lot of hope that you take from this. Uh, people are surprisingly strong. When, when faced with uh, adversity like this. If you've been affected by flooding and you haven't already called FEMA, you're advised to do so, no matter how big or how small the damage. You don't want to find out later on that something in your house may be creeping up, such as molds growing out of places that never grew before, and then you know, you find out it's too late. That number is 1-800-621-FEMA. In the community of Butler Township, I'm Nikki Cries for News 13. Residents are fed up and Mayor Joe Yanuzzi wants answers. Why does one part particular section of the city continuously flood, even after the problem was supposedly fixed? Residents of the 400 block of Terrace Boulevard in Hazleton spoke out about the problem at Wednesday's council meeting. They call the situation unbearable because they have to deal with rain water in their basements, sewers backing up in their homes and flooded backyards. Residents living near the intersection with Johns Road said they've been having issues all September because of the heavy rains. Mary Newsy says this section of Hazleton has been dealing with water issues for 27 years. He says the area was built improperly. News 13 has covered numerous flooding stories in the past on Terrace Boulevard. This is actual video from a few years ago. Yanuzi says new storm lines were put in back in 2009 and the lines were separated from the sewer. Now some of the homes up there still get sanitary, which I just found out tonight. I knew they got storm because storm up there, there's a river runs underground there and it just goes into people's basements once you get a high we're going to go up and see the only way they can get sanitary into their house is if there's storm drains in the sanitary sewer. That's what makes it flood and that's what makes it go down. So we'll have to go up. The mayor tells us he will be visiting the area himself along with city workers to examine the problem further. Not only is Mayor Yanuzi working hard to beef up the city's police force recently, he's hoping the addition of some new code enforcement officers will help crack down on run-down properties and code violations that could lead to other issues. The city recently shifted around some positions and was able to hire some new part-time employees. Hazleton went from having just one code officer for the past several years to now having one full-time and one part-timer. It's the same for the health officer position as well. Marianne Thomas and Lou Pichetti Shelley will be working a few hours a day each week and next week one more part time code officer will step in. It's a way to reduce the workload in a very busy department. We just go after call after call. People call us what's wrong and we respond to it. We don't have to go look at They say go looking at this. Well, it's there. People call in and we just go from one call to another because we only had one belt and one coat. Now we have one and a half. The other guy comes, we'll have two and one. The new jobs were made possible with the termination of the city's chief engineer back in July. Well, call him the Albert Einstein of today. Steve Jobs, a genius in the eyes of many, reinvented the world's computing, music, and mobile phone industries and changed the daily habits of millions around the globe. 
Jobs died on Wednesday at the age of 56. He had been suffering from pancreatic cancer, battling back for years. Jobs was the CEO of Apple and Pixar Animation Studios and played a big role in creating the first personal computer. As the world mourns the loss of this tech titan, even Barack Obama gave a statement on Jobs' passing. The president said, quote, the world has lost a visionary and there may be no greater tribute to Steve's success than the fact that much of the world learned of his passing on a device he invented. After learning of the loss of jobs, fans paid homage outside Apple stores around the world, from Los Angeles to even Sydney, Australia. One local school was transformed into a real-life museum as the kids brought certain storybook characters and real-life superstars to life. Highlights from the unique event are ahead tonight, along with a quick stop outdoors where a frost advisory has been issued for our area. Just how low will the temp go tonight? Plus an idea that will bring the city money and some new jobs, while at the same time creating clean energy is now taking flight. It's a win-win and won't cost Hazleton a penny. More coming up. It's time for the Movie Minute right here on News 13, your weekly look at what's playing at Regal Cinema 10 just outside the Laurel Mall. Some new releases to tell you about this week. The Ides of March is a drama starring George Clooney and Ryan Gosling. It's a film about dirty politics in a presidential campaign. Real Steel is an action sci-fi flick starring Hugh Jackman. The movie is set in the near future where robot boxing is a top sport. For showtimes, call Regal Cinema 10 at 450-7454 or to speak to a movie attendant, call 450-7340. Stay tuned for great local programming all night long right here on SSP TV. At 7 o'clock, it's the Sam Sand Show. Join Sam as he talks with Lou Barletta. 7.30 is feeling good. Join host Dr. Joel Lafiel and Debbie Lassan as they discuss chiropractic care and total body wellness. At 8 o'clock, Sam talks with the Wings of Freedom. And at 8.30, Sam talks with Donna Palermo. 9 o'clock is Inside Scoop. Political analysts Rick Morelli, Mike DeCosmo, and Dr. Dave Sochar talk politics on a local and a national level. And at 9.30, it's all around the town. Join News 13 SSP TV as we visit local businesses and showcase their products and specialties. It's like shopping from home. If you want to promote your business and share with our thousands of viewers, call us today at 455-7267. Don't forget about the rebroadcasts of our news at 6, 10, and 11.30. And thank you for making News 13 your number one local news station. You're watching News 13, brought to you by SSP TV and The Standard Speaker, with Janine Mazurkiewicz, Kristen Bozinski, Christina D'Amato, and Nikki Grimes. Anyone can make a phone call. What's important is who's on the other end. We've been doing injury law for more than 35 years. It's what we do most. It's what we do best. It's what we do every day. So if you're hurt and want a lawyer who does nothing but injury law every day, there's no reason to call anyone else. Call Valo Law Injury Lawyers. When your car has seen her last mile, you want to make sure her old parts and fluids go here and not here. At Harry's u pull -It, we dispose of your old car parts the right way, recycling every piece possible. From parts to fluids, when you bring your old car to Harry's, you'll know that our state-of-the-art system is keeping your footprint as green as possible. Harry's u pull -It. Buy right the first time at Independence Toyota. Our summer scissor sale is going on now. Choose from over 80 pre-owned vehicles in stock starting at just $4,999. Includes complimentary maintenance, one-year oil changes, and roadside assistance. And remember, if you don't see this on the back of your new Toyota, you probably pay too much. Located on the airport beltway across from Walmart, Hazleton. 
This truck crashed into a fenced in substation off the Stockton Mountain Road this morning. The accident happened around 10 o'clock and involved just one vehicle. There was one person inside the pickup truck. The driver was taken to a waiting ambulance, but did not appear to be hurt seriously. State police were investigating how this accident happened. Troopers have not released the name of the driver or what caused him to go off the road and slam into the fence here in Hazel Township. Well, police chased down a man wanted by officials in two counties. Hazelton City officers were on foot patrol Tuesday afternoon in the area of Wyoming and Oak Streets when they saw 22-year-old Robert Wace. When Wace saw the officers, he took off running. Police chased him down and after a brief struggle, had the man in custody. Police quickly learned Wace was wanted by Schuylkill County Probation for a violation and the Luzerne County Sheriff's Department for failure to appear in court on criminal trespass charges. Wace is in prison today tonight and was slapped with some new charges as well by city police. Two Luzerne County men faced charges for stealing metal and selling it as scrap in Schuylkill County. 40-year-old Craig Sims of Hazel Township and 36-year-old John Davidovich of Hazelton have admitted to the thefts which occurred back in June. Troopers tell us an employee of Redding Anthracite saw the two men driving on the company's property with scrap metal in the bed of Sims pickup truck. The two men were charged last week in connection with the anthracite Redding theft and additional charges were also filed Wednesday in connection with a theft at home Home Depot as well. They face charges of criminal trespass, theft by unlawful taking, and receiving stolen property. An update now to the chopper controversy happening in Hazel Township. We first told you about the battle between former Hazelton Mayor Mike Marsicano and his neighbors in Pardeesville who are fired up over the former mayor taking off and landing his helicopter on his property, saying it is too noisy and disturbs the couple's quality of life. Marsicano's neighbor filed a lawsuit against him and yesterday Today, the judge said he wanted to actually see and hear it for himself. Judge William Amesbury is scheduled to be in Pardeesville tomorrow morning, and from there he'll draw up a decision whether Marsicano can or cannot continue to operate his home-based helipad. Marsicano, who says his helipad's a football length away from his neighbors, the Franzosas, has been banned from taking off and landing his helicopter since September 29th when a temporary injunction was signed by Judge Dave Lupus. The Franzosas are hoping for a permanent injunction and also a monetary settlement. On your screen right now, you're winning midday lottery numbers. Good luck if you played your daily number, 555, five, five, your big 42025, Quinto 034. Five, five, lots of fives tonight there. Treasure hunt, seven, 11, 12, 21, 29, good luck. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for making News 13 your number one local news station. Here's your lineup for Friday. Good evening, everyone, and here's tonight's Talk of the Town, the 5th Annual Public Square Rosary Rally, Pray the Rosary for America. This will be on Saturday, October 15th at noon at the Columbus Park on the corner of Church and Diamond. For more information, please call 454-8406. And Art in Bloom, this is presented by the Hazelton Art League. This is an exhibit on art and flowers in history. This will be at the Markle Gallery on Broad Street on October 7th from 7 to 9 p.m., and on October 8th and 9th from 2 to 4 p.m. There's a $5 donation at the door. For more information, please call 454-5877. And that's tonight's Talk of the Town. Happy birthday in heaven. Paul, Pauly Pencala. You should be 20 today. We can only imagine what great things you would be doing. Happy birthday, son, brother, Hero, love mom, dad, Nikki, Jamie, Annie, and Lucy. News 13 extends our deepest sympathies to the family and friends of these recently departed. Betty to teach of Beaver Meadows, a massive Christian burial will be on Saturday at 9.30 a.m. from the Our Lady of Lourdes Church. Friends may call Friday from 7 to 9 p.m. at the Joseph A. Moran Funeral Home. Gertrude E. Weaver of Freeland. Services will be on Saturday at 9 a.m. for the Methodist Church in Freeland. 
and John A. Belinsky of Zion Grove. A massive Christian burial will be held Friday at 8.45 a.m. from the St. Casimir's Church. Tonight's obituary has been brought to you by the Smilax Floral Shop on 15th Street in Hazleton. Free delivery to all local funeral homes. Call 570-454-0111. Stop by the Hollywood Diner and Sports Bar. This week on Thursday is open mic night with Dynamic Blue. It's wing night as well, 35 cent wings and $2 domestic drafts. Friday, a dollar off all drinks, 3 to 7 with a free buffet. And Chixie Dicks, 9 to 1, $3 well drinks, 9 to 11. Saturday is windfall, 9 to midnight and $3 well drinks. Stop by the Hollywood Diner and Sports Bar where everyone is treated like a star. J. Bell, a trusted name in jewelry since 1916. J. Bell's add a section bracelet is a gift that grows more precious with time. Select a stylish starter or partial bracelet for your special occasion. For each birthday, anniversary, and holiday thereafter, add another section. The look, feel, and quality are incomparable, meaning your J. Bell bracelet will truly last for generations. Show her you love her time and again. Stop by Howard's Jewelers in the Laurel Mall in West Hazleton to see our complete selection of J. Bell add a section bracelets. How do you choose to express yourself? It's all your wrong and I can tell it comes naturally. Mmm, it comes naturally. That was Destiny Bozar performing as pop sensation Selena Gomez Wednesday night at Heights Terrace Elementary Middle School's Museum Walk. The event was put on by the school's Title I Parent Involvement Committee. Now, parents and family were invited to see the kids in action. Basically, they needed to act out a book or a character and even dress the part. It's about a girl who lives with her cruel stepmother and two stepsisters who did not do any work and treated her like a servant and a royal messenger came, delivered a message about a ball for the prince and Cinderella wanted to go but the only way she can go is if she did all her chores but the stepmother did not want her to go so she gave her more and more things to do. Other students portrayed the Transformers, Green Eggs and Ham, Harry Potter, and even Star Wars. All the kids did a fantastic job on their projects and obviously had a lot of fun Wednesday showing off their work. A new center right here on Broad Street will help improve the lives of children in the greater Hazleton area. The ribbon was cut at the Hazleton office of the Pennsylvania Migrant Education Program. The brand new Read 180 room was officially welcomed to the city. The new facility will allow students to improve their reading skills in an after school program. They'll also be able to learn the English language with Rosetta Stone. This will be a, a training center and again um, help our students um, move forward with their reading skills and language skills. What we wanted to do was have some continuity from what happens during the day and have after school and Saturday programs that will benefit the students. So this is a way to complement what we do during the school day after school. Our youth council identified a literacy need in our two county region and as such determined to fund programs that help folks with literacy, specifically youth. This was a wonderful opportunity. I was so thrilled to be a part of the process. As the chair of the Youth Council, it afforded us the opportunity to look at that need and to actually be a part of making sure that we met that need. Read 180 is a federally funded program. If you'd like to find out if your child is eligible, you're asked to call the Hazleton office. That number is 501-8821. A frost advisory is in effect tonight for Luzerne and Carbon County. It will be chilly out there, so cuddle up with someone you love or maybe just grab a cup of hot cocoa and a warm blanket. And don't forget to protect your plants. 39 is what we're going to dip down to tonight here in Greater Hazleton, but it will be clear skies, so no rain in sight. And no rain in sight for your TGIF on Friday, sunny skies, and we'll climb up to 67 degrees. All right, your forecast tonight brought to you by Justin Mateo, independent team, Beach Body Coach. Now, Beach Body is offering Shakeology. 
stops your cravings, lose weight, increase your energy. It's all about getting healthy now. It comes in chocolate and green berry. And to learn more about Shakeology, give Justin a call at 233-7516. I heard it's really yummy. So uh, uh, at least that's good. You can get healthy and lose some weight and drink something that tastes good at the same time. You can also visit any of those websites on your screen to learn more about Beach Body. All right, speaking of blankets tonight and staying warm, as the temp dips in preparation for the winter season, Hospice of the Sacred Heart is springing into action to help keep folks warm and comfortable. For the third year in a row, Hospice of the Sacred Heart is collecting blankets to distribute to patients and community members in need. This year's goal is $1,500. Brand new blankets are needed, which can be comforters and quilts in all different sizes. Blankets will be accepted through December 10th, and Hospice is also asking for monetary donations to purchase blankets. In addition to the drop-off points listed on your screen, News 13 will be collecting blankets Monday through Friday between 9 and 5. So why not? wrap someone up in a gift of warmth this winter season. As you're grabbing that extra blanket to give to hospice, don't forget to bring that extra coat or two and share the warmth with others. News 13 and the Standard Speaker want you to help keep the less fortunate in our area out of the cold. To ensure that no one goes without a warm jacket this winter, Samsung Productions and the Standard Speaker kicked off the first annual Greater Hazleton Coat Drive called Share the Warmth. All you have to do is donate gently used coats now until the end of the month. Drop the, coat, the kids and adult jackets off at locations on your screen, including right here at News 13, Boyer's, Burger Family Dealerships, Noki's Pharmacy, The Standard Speaker, Standard Drug, Kathleen's Collectibles, and Holy Family Academy, plus a, a couple more up there as well. All the coats will go to Catholic Social Services Material Assistance Program. We're also gonna have more information on that code drive on our website coming very soon. That does it for us tonight. Thank you so much for tuning in live at five. News 13 is coming your way live at 5.30 as well. If you'd like to catch News 13 again, log on to our new and improved website at ssptv.com. Also, if you haven't friended us on Facebook, you can follow all the happenings in Hazleton on News 13 SSPTV's Facebook page. Still to come tonight live at 5.30, the mayor of Hazleton is hoping a proposed wind project will help blow some money into the city and also create new jobs. Also, a popular restaurant in our area, only open for about a year, is closed and dark. But why? Those stories and more ahead in two. Savings of the Green Sale event is now in progress. Experience tomorrow's technology today with Earthwise vinyl windows and doors installed by Just Windows and much, much more. Saving energy daily translates into saving money. And saving Mother Earth for tomorrow's generations of homeowners is priceless. So take the leap to a more eco-friendly home with an environmentally friendly windows and doors from Just Windows and much, much more. Ashley, you forgot about free estimates. Come on, man. Call today for a free estimate. Tell them Ashley sent you. Is anyone ready when you are? How about your doctor or lawyer, your contractor, husband or kids? Is their time really more valuable than yours? We don't think so. The Wire Guys always have time for you. For lighting or a standby generator, we're there. Wiring upgrade or renovations, no problem. New appliances or media room, we're ready to hook you up. Call us for an immediate appointment. We won't make you wait and everything's guaranteed. The Wire Guys! The best thing about LASIK for me is the freedom that it gives me. You know, I don't have to rely on glasses and contacts to be able to see. It's like being reborn again with brand new eyeballs. <laughs> I'm appreciative every day when I wake up that I can see I don't have to wear the glasses. The best thing about LASIK vision is that I can wrestle with this little guy right here and he won't knock my glasses off my face. To schedule your free LASIK consultation, call Bucci Laser Vision at 1-877-DR-BUCCI. Vasca Buyers Race. Our buyers bring you super buys with our honest price guarantee. Pick the winning buyer and you could win $2,500 in cash. 52% off Calvin Klein wool coats in two classic styles. Your choice, $119.99. 40 to 50% off our entire stock of Missy's famous designer sleepwear and loungewear. 60 to 71% off men's lightweight jackets, $9.99. And young men's thermal cruise, only $4.99 at all Vascov's. When considering home health care, choose the leader, All Care Home Care. 
Serving the area for almost a quarter of a century, All Care Home Care's compassionate RNs and LPNs provide medical, physical, and speech therapy combined with dietary and medical social worker services. Locally owned and operated, All Care Home Care is there for you and your loved ones. All Care Home Care, South Poplar Street in Hazleton. Hospice of the Sacred Heart is a nonprofit agency now serving nine counties in northeastern PA. We help many elderly patients in their home, providing assistance to them and their families. My older sister, Kathy, was diagnosed with cancer. She was very, very sick. And hospice came and uh, took wonderful care of her. My husband was very ill, and they taught me how to do everything. I just couldn't have done it without them. Call 706-2400 for more information or visit our website at hospicesacredheart.org. Smiles galore as a scientist wows the crowd at the Hazleton Elementary School this morning. It was the very first performance on stage at the now completed Alice C. Wilty Performing Arts Center, a million dollar project with a bright future, bringing art and talent for many years to come. From the Samsung Production Studios in the heart of Hazleton, Pennsylvania, it's your News 13. Hey everyone, thanks so much for staying with us tonight. I'm Kristen Bozinski. Well, history was made in one part of Hazleton this morning. For the first time since 1992, there was a live performance on stage in the Hazleton Elementary Middle School Auditorium. More than 1,000 students got to be the first ones to enjoy a performance at the Alice C. Wiltsy Performing Arts Center. And did they ever. A scientist named Gary Krinsky was the first performer to take to the stage. It was a magical circus show that taught the kids all about science. For the folks that put together the new Performing Arts Center, it was a shining moment. Well, just watching the students come in tonight, to, or today, I've got goosebumps. These students, many of whom have never been in a theater like this, are coming in, they're going, wow, and they're so excited, and the teachers are excited, and the entire city of Hazleton should be excited to have a magnificent facility like this right in their hometown. There are more events lined up at the brand new facility. It will officially be dedicated on October 23rd at 2 o'clock. And don't forget, Chicago will take the stage on November 27th. Get your tickets real soon. Two state lawmakers from our area are working together on a law that would help stop fraud in the public welfare system. It's all part of a recent hearing from the state government committee in Harrisburg called National Security Begins at Home. The hearing dealt with illegal immigration problems in Pennsylvania. State representatives Tara Tuhill and Doyle Hefley met with local police officers and other officials today in Beaver Meadows to discuss their progress on a bill that would address both the problem with welfare fraud and illegal immigration. It all stems from testimony from Beaver Meadows Police Chief Mike Marisi. Marisi says he's pulled over and apprehended illegal immigrants who were in possession of access cards, which were not even in their names, but Marisi was not allowed to confiscate them. Now lawmakers are trying to make it a third degree felony for any illegal immigrant to have in their possession an access card. I was speaking on behalf of uh, local law enforcement throughout the area because a lot of uh, politicians and um, people higher up don't really see the big, big picture of what local law enforcement see and deal with on a daily basis. Like for instance, when I did stop a vehicle, the guy had uh, $3,000 in cash, two government access cards through in Pennsylvania. And I contacted the Department of Welfare. They said, just let them have the cards. I can't confiscate them. But I was able to confiscate his fake identification cards, and I had to cut them loose. Now, if this bill is passed, that would be an excellent tool throughout the state. That's a felony charge. We'd be able to lodge them. It's a win-win all around. In the Hazleton area, as well as here in Beaver Meadows and, and across the state, it is a huge problem that we have people with multiple access cards that do not belong to them. And and, and that's, you know, that needs to be fraudulent. That needs to, there needs to be an offense associated with that. And then on top of it, we have uh, illegal immigrants. Uh, you know, they're, they're getting fed and clothed and housed by us here, uh, by your taxpayer dollars. So you need to put an end to that. And these 
uh, tough economic times with so many people struggling, taxpayers that have paid in, senior citizens that have paid into public benefits for years and, and, are, and are, you know, really struggling. It, it's important that us as legislators and as a state government that we are good stewards of, of those public funds and, and we need to cut out this waste and fraud in, in the public welfare system. So making sure that the people that are, that are truly in need of these benefits are receiving them. Um, one of the things that we're seeing across the state is access cards being used in the drug trade. And, and I, I feel that this legislation will also address that issue as well. Representative Heffley says the legislation has 36 co-sponsors and support from the caucus. It will be introduced either today or tomorrow. Mayor Joe Yanuzzi calls the idea great for the city. A clean energy firm will be taking advantage of Hazleton's excellent wind resource by building an energy generation facility or wind turbines. Company representatives talked to our Christina D'Amato about the benefits of the project. We're not going to just be leaving a little prototype in an energy generation product. The company V3 Power filled Hazelton City Council members in on their plans for building a wind turbine facility at Lewis Shivo City View Park. Talks on the idea started one year ago, and Wednesday evening, company representatives explained more about the energy project. They even passed along a map of the proposed area. The product that you're going to see there is going to be a, uh, basically a building integrated um, you know, wind system. So it's going to look like a little building and within the building uh, houses turbines. It's going to be a footprint that's going to be approximately 24, 2600 square feet. Um, it fits right nicely in the corner of the park and um, it's going to be approximately 33 feet high and um, it won't be recognized more than anything other than a, than a little building in the park and, and that's one of the things that makes it special. We are told that there is a lot in it for the city. We're going to provide jobs. We're going to, you know, we're going to provide, uh, you know, uh, actually sort of a rebirth of, of, of certain areas. So we're going to be developing and we're going to be here for a long time with a lot of different technology. So it's jobs, it's educational opportunities, it's, um, it's energy, it's space, it's, it's, it's all kinds of things all encompassed into one. With any investment, this town's making an investment on the ground floor because you're in with us. And anybody that's in on the ground floor or something, it could be in on something very big if it grows. And, and that could be the case for Hazleton. Mainly the manufacturing uh, building that they're going to have that's going to manufacture this product. And it's not only going to have uh, labor jobs, uh, but office jobs and technical jobs. Technical jobs are going to be the best. Uh, it's going to benefit Penn State. If, if they can work on a program with Penn State going up there, their students and studying uh, the wind turbine and how it generates uh, with their engineering programs, it's gonna, that's going to be great. Plus, any new jobs in the city of Hazleton will have a ripple effect. And all this comes at no cost to the city. We'll be paying, you know, the park uh, small rent fee for actually taking space up there at the site. Um, all of the money is coming from our own uh, private equity. And, um, and so the city really is gonna benefit. We're gonna end up reselling the energy that, that comes off of it, used for the park and you know, for lighting and for any, you know, any other neighboring use. We can buy the electricity uh, at a cheaper rate if we want. And architects say they picked Lewis Shivo Park because of the wind. It's a fairly calm day today, but up here at the park, the wind is always blowing, making it a perfect spot for those turbines. They approached us because of our wind blocks. We have a lot of wind up here, and that's a great high peak, and it's really windy up there. They did the study by the airport, which gave them a high reading, and this is even higher. The wind turbine facility will be located at the southern end of the park near the BMX track. V3 Power's goal is to break ground soon, possibly in January. Then we are told it would take a few months for construction. In the community of Hazleton, Christina D'Amato, News 13.
Well, not only is Mayor Yanuzi working hard to beef up the city's police force, uh, bring in a little extra money, he's also hoping the addition of some new code enforcement officers will help crack down on rundown properties and code violations that could lead to other issues. The city recently shifted around some positions and was able to hire some new part-time employees. Hazelton went from having just one code officer for the past several years to now having one full-time and one part-timer. It's the same for the health officer position as well. Marianne Thomas and Lou Pacelli will be working a few hours a day each week and next week more part-time code off one more part-time code officer will step in. It's a way to reduce the workload in a very busy department. We just go after call after call. People call us what's wrong and we respond to it. We don't have to go look at they say go looking at this. Well, it's there. People call in and we just go from one call to another because we only had one health and one code. Now we have one and a half. The other guy comes with like two and one. The new jobs were made possible with the termination of the city's chief engineer back in July. All right, if you are a NASCAR fan, next time you head to Pocono to see your favorite driver race for the checkered flag, you may notice a new look to the Long Pond track. That story is coming up plus after not even a year in business, a restaurant in our area has closed to the surprise of many. You're watching News 13 with Janine Mazurkiewicz, Kristen Bozinski, Christina D'Amato, and Nikki Grimes. Oh, fumble! I'll be here all day! Yay! Yep, it's football season. And great deals are waiting for you at Burger Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram. Like a new Jeep Patriot 4x4 starting at 18495 Plus, we'll pay more for your trade guaranteed. Just off I-81, exit 145 Hazleton. Since 1921, drive with experience. When it comes to all of your grocery needs, shop Boyer's Food Markets at two locations, 15th Street in Hazleton and South Hancock Street in McAdoo. Here are this week's specials. Every weekend, look in our hot food area for wings, tenders, and other party favorites. Don't forget about our gift cards and our senior citizens discounts. We also have double coupons every day. You can also go to boyersfood.com for our weekly circular, monthly super specials, and much more. It's all at Boyer's Food Markets in Hazleton and McAdoo. Savings of the Green Sale event is now in progress. Experience tomorrow's technology today with EarthWise vinyl windows and doors installed by Just Windows and much, much more. Saving energy daily translates into saving money. And saving Mother Earth for tomorrow's generations of homeowners is priceless. So take the leap to more eco-friendly homes with an environmentally friendly windows and doors from Just Windows and much, much more. Ashley, you forgot about free estimates. Come on, man. Call today for a free estimate. Tell them Ashley sent you. When it comes to your health, you need to put your trust in a team of experienced professionals. Mountain City Nursing and Rehabilitation Center, an extend-a-care facility, has one goal in mind, helping people live better. Short-term rehabilitation is our business. Mountain City offers you a chance to recover on our STAR unit, a short-term unit for patients who need some rehab before going home. We provide dedicated nursing and therapy services and offer you a personalized plan of recovery through our evidence-based recovery track programming. Mountain City helps me live better. Greater Hazleton has lost yet another restaurant. As the standard speaker first reported in today's edition, the Country Kitchen Buffet and Grill closed its doors last week after less than a year in business. Customers showed up to grab a bite to eat last Tuesday and found the restaurant on Poplar Street dark and locked. A note taped to the entrance door informed those customers that the restaurant was closed. Country Kitchen owner Dorothy Lewis did not return a call to the standard speaker regarding the closure. Country Kitchen opened in November of last year. The owner said in an interview with News 13 at the ribbon cutting that she eventually hoped to add a family fun center, including bowling, indoor racetrack for go-karts, and a banquet hall. Turning to Butler Township, where the big concern over last month's flooding. Restra residents have dealt with almost two feet 
of water since the beginning of September. A lot of that water was inside their homes. Last night, Township officials and State Representative Tara Tuhill held an informational session for those affected by flooding. News 13's Nikki Kreis has more on the town hall meeting. Just last week, this is what it looked like in parts of Butler Township. The flooding was so bad that people needed to be rescued by boat from their houses. Almost two feet of rain in the month of September has caused township residents irreplaceable damage. This is top priority. Uh, the Susquehanna River and the, the damage that we've incurred, this is top priority, getting this fixed. Um, and we're, we're just going to move forward from there. That's why State Representative Tara Tuhill, along with Butler Township leaders, held a town hall meeting Wednesday night. To uh, allow the citizens to hear from some of the experts on uh, what, what can be done to help them if they were flooded or received damage in their homes, and uh, also for the public elected officials to be able to hear from the, the, the community, the citizens, uh, what the problems were that, that, that they experienced. Township residents were able to ask questions and express their concerns to the officials, as well as representatives from DEP, PennDOT, and FEMA. I thought people had very fair and uh, very legitimate concerns, and I think they were handled very well you know, by the borough staff. Residents had a lot to say at Wednesday's meeting. Many were emotional and voiced concerns about their power being turned off for five days. Even those who weren't directly affected by flooding initially were affected when their basement pumps were shut off. Many lost food from their freezers and some lost pets. Township manager Steve Hahn defends the way officials handled the situation. I think the township in their ability reacts very quickly and did in all of these events to get the road crews out and close roads if they're inundated with water. The emergency management folks were out, our police force was out, uh, making sure that people got out of their homes and that they were safe. That was the, the immediate reaction. But what it's really going to come down to is looking looking forward at the problems that we have, the reoccurring flooding problems, uh, our, our constituents here that always are getting flooded. Uh, we have some public improvement projects that we're going to have to move forward with, and that's going to take money. Tuhill says she will go back to Harrisburg and fight for that money. I think there's a lot of hope that you take from this. Uh, people are surprisingly strong when, when faced with uh, adversity like this. If you've been affected by flooding and you haven't already called FEMA, you're advised to do so, no matter how big or how small the damage. You don't want to find out later on that something in your house may be creeping up, such as molds growing out of places that never grew before, and then you know you find out it's too late. That number is 1-800-621-FEMA. In the community of Butler Township, I'm Nikki Kreis for News 13. A frost advisory is in effect for Luzerne and Carbon Counties as temps are expected to dip below 40 tonight. Clear skies, though, no rain in sight, will dip to about 39 degrees here in Greater Hazleton. So a chilly night ahead. Your sun will set in a few at 638 and then rise again for TGIF at 7 minutes after 7. Average high 64, your average low this time of year about 44. Record high was set back in 1922 at 87 degrees. Record low in 1958 was a chilly 26. Sun across the board once again and I accept it with open arms. 67 on Friday, Saturday 69, Sunday 75 degrees with sunny skies. Monday carbon copy of Sunday, no complaining I hope out there from anyone. Lazy Dog Salon bringing you tonight's forecast live at 530, offering dog and cat grooming. Call for an appointment right away for your furry friend at 459-0310. That's the Lazy Dog Salon, pet's best friend here in Greater Hazleton. All right, Freddie B's back with the final game of the first round in Major League Playoffs wrapping up tonight for the New York Yankees. Does Fred have confidence in his favorite team? We'll ask him that question and check in on some local high school sports action. Plus, it's a new look for one of the fastest places around. It's out with the old and in with the new in Long Pond. Attention pay-per-view subscribers, if you see your name right now on Channel 13, you will have 13 minutes to call in and win a free pay-per-view movie from Service Electric Cable Vision. Tonight's winner, Suzanne Trabati of Drums. Suzanne, if you're watching, give us a call right now at 570-459-9813 to win your free movie.
Keller Orchards, quality fruit at reasonable prices, Route 239 Wap Wallopin is open seven days a week, nine to five, with the best apples around. Ginger, Gold, Cortland, Macintosh, Gala, and Honey Crisp. A tradition that continues on. We grow good health at Heller Orchards, Wapwalapan. On October 14th, hit the links for the first annual Friends of Jamie Dixon Golf Tournament. Will be held at Sand Springs Country Club with registration at 11 a.m. Cost is just $75 per person and includes green fees, cart, lunch, dinner, and prizes. Full sponsorships are also available, so call today to be a part of this great event. 570-788-5845, email jamiedixon at ptd.net, or check out www.dixonformagistrate.com. SSP TV Sports on News 13 with Fred Barletta Jr., well, a lot of cross country going on yesterday throughout the area, and finally, they got a little bit of a break. The sun was out, it wasn't raining, and there wasn't even a threat of rain. I don't want to say the word, don't want to jinx anything here, but let's take a look because it was a very interesting bag, if you will. We'll start with the Hazleton area Cougars on the girls' side. The Lady Cougars, well, the, the name of the game yesterday was Nicole Burley. She is a up and coming underclassman that's looking pretty good. She helped lead the charge yesterday as the Lady Cougars swept out both Valley West and Berwick and then trounced Northwest. So they win three. Remember they run in clusters in the Wyoming Valley Conference. So that was a uh, very nice effort by uh, the talented up and coming runner for the Lady Cougars. As we said, she uh, just about ready to break that 20 minute mark. Remember they go 3.1 miles. So that's uh, not bad. The magic number is 20 minutes. You want to get sub 20. She's closing in on it. And as you see, she helps lead the sweep for the Lady Cougars. Now on the boys' side, this seems to be the old story. Uh, we said it the other day. Two out of three ain't bad. But the problem is they had two close ones that could have went either way. Look at the Cougars nip Wyoming Valley West by a single point, And they lose to Northwest by that same single point sandwiched in between they dominated Berwick. So it was uh, Jacob Fetterman with the best time of the day for uh, the Cougars. So they win two out of the three in the clusters. How about the boys from MMI? Well, they salvaged one. They nipped Seminary and they came up short against Holy Redeemer and Coughlin. Dave Polishinsky crossed the finish line first for the preppers. On the girls' side, it was just a long afternoon. MMI gets beat by Holy Redeemer, Coughlin, and Sem. And the scores weren't close. So uh, tough afternoon for the girls from MMI. Let's go to the uh, golf scoreboard, if we will, and we'll take a look. First of all, we uh, offer our congratulations out to uh, the golfers from Penn State University here on the uh, Hazleton campus, because what they did yesterday is they wrapped up a perfect season. Uh, they won their final match earlier this week and uh, teams from Penn State campuses all over the state were involved in this and they came out on top. They finished with a 327, eight shots better than the runner up. So our congratulations on the perfect season to the guys from Penn State High Acres. Meanwhile, in Schuylkill League Golf, they had the uh, team championship for the Schuylkill League yesterday and Marion finished second. Blue Mountain came out with top honors, but a strong showing by the Colts and they end up second so a pretty interesting afternoon for them as well. As far as what's going on today, field hockey under the lights at Harmon Geist. The high-flying Dallas Lady Mountaineers are in town. That'll be a 6.30 start down at Harmon Geist, and they're going to have a real nice night for it. Boys soccer under the lights tonight. Hazleton at Wyoming Valley West. And girls volleyball, Crestwood is hosting the Lady Cougars. Junior high soccer going on right now, as a matter of fact. Wyoming Valley West, Hazleton area, down at the Raiders field. And of course, we've got Major League sudden death, if you will. Game five tonight in the Bronx. It's uh, the Yankees of the Detroit Tigers. The winner will go on and meet the Texas Rangers in the American League Championship Series. That one's going to get underway a little after 8 o'clock tonight. And while the Yankee fans are holding their breath right now, Phillies fans have 24 hours to uh, catch theirs. They'll have game five tomorrow night down in South Philadelphia. 
Same with the Diamondbacks and uh, the Milwaukee Brewers. Can't do much better than this. Three of the four series going the full five games. And uh, I know Philly fans don't want to hear it. Yankee fans don't want to hear it. But I guess it's good for baseball. Hey, it's Rack'em Up Rib Night at uh, Bottlenecks tonight. They're racking up flavor with fire grilled ribs, a half rack of meaty fall off the bone St. Louis style spare ribs, smothered in sweet barbecue sauce, fire grilled, served with bottomless fries. It's $9.95, it's a great deal. And they'll have the baseball game on tonight. Go up and enjoy. Everyone knows that Bottlenecks is the home of award-winning wings and mouth-watering steaks, but now a new tasty reason to stop by. Brand new fire grilled ribs. A half rack of meaty, fall off the bone St. Louis style spare ribs, fire grilled to perfection. And the best night to give them a try is Thursday for Rack em Up Rib Night, featuring the delicious ribs served with bottomless fries for only $9.95. Bottlenecks is open seven days a week. The kitchen is open till midnight every day. There's always a reason to stop by Bottlenecks. Buys with our honest price guarantee. If the winning buyer, you could win $2,500 in cash. 69% off layered look rib knit tops by Hastings and Smith, $7.99. The Oleg Cassini Platinum Collection of Missy's Buy Stretch Pants, our price $12.99. 79% off a two pack of Dollhouse and Rampage bras, $4.99. And save an extra 20% off our low sale prices during the final days of our mattress sale at all Boscov's. Well, this year, when Jeff Gordon, Dale Earnhardt Jr., and Jimmy Johnson return to Pocono Raceway, they will discover a new look and some improvements. It's out with the old and in with the new in Long Pond. The raceway is embarking on an expansion construction project directed to improve driver safety and enhance competition. Already complete is 5,500 feet of the new generation SAFER, which is steel and foam energy reduction barrier that's being installed to the inside of the track from the exit of turn one to the entrance of turn three and more than 6,100 feet of catch fence added from the front straight to turn two. Now that was phase one. Phase two of the project includes a new outer pit wall, concrete pit stalls and repaving of the 2.5 mile super speedway obviously known as the Tricky Triangle. Pocono officials say they received input from a number of drivers as well as NASCAR officials before making final improvement plans. Pocono was last repaved in 1995 and all of the current improvements will be complete before June's Pocono 400. How do you choose to express yourself? It's all you're wrong and I can tell it comes naturally. Hmm, it comes naturally. Makes me want to break out in some dance moves here on the new set. That was Destiny Bozar performing as pop sensation Selena Gomez Wednesday night at Heights Terrace Elementary Middle School's Museum Walk. The event was put on by the school's Title I Parent Involvement Committee. Parents and family were invited to see the kids in action. Basically, they needed to act out a book or a character and even dress the part. It's about a girl who lives with her cruel stepmother and two stepsisters who did not do any work and treated her like a servant and a royal messenger came, delivered a message about a ball for the prince and Cinderella wanted to go but the only way she can go is if she did all her chores but the stepmother did not want her to go so she gave her more and more things to do. Other students portrayed the Transformers, Green Eggs and Ham, Harry Potter, and Star Wars. All of the kids did a fantastic job on their projects and obviously had a lot of fun Wednesday showing off their work. That'll do it for us tonight. Thank you so much for making us a part of your Thursday. If you'd like to catch this newscast again, tune in for a rebroadcast throughout tonight and into the morning. And don't forget, we're always on at ssptv.com. On behalf of your News 13 team, be safe and have a great night. Stay warm.
Look for great ways to save every day at Boyer's Food Markets, 999 West 15th Street in Hazleton and 318 South Hancock Street in McAdoo. Double coupons every day, only at Boyer's Food Markets.